A successful career in music isn't a one-man show, so we're taking a look at the Mavens, those influential movers and shakers in Montreal's music community. Right now, you'll be spending a day in the life of Sébastien Nasra, the founder and president of Avalanche Productions, M for Montreal, and the Mundial World Music Summit. Là, je viens d'avoir Michelle à New York qui me dit qu'elle pourrait peut-être venir, mais là, elle a besoin de l'autorisation de Paris, puis là, avec tous les événements et tout ça, ça va être euh, compliqué. OK, c'est bon, je reviens. Bye. M for Montreal, c'est un springboard pour les uh, artistes pour développer des opportunités pour leur carrière internationale. Tout ce que nous faisons, de un panel, une conférence, un showcase, et les gens que nous invitons à cette chose, Uh, is is done with that objective in mind. Yeah, we want it to be festive and fun and have engaged audiences and all that so that when the bands perform, they're really in their element. Uh, but we're really matchmakers, like M for matchmaking. We're trying to, to, to put the right band at the right moment in their career in front of the right potential buyers, tastemakers, agents, people that can really make a difference for their career. Uh, nationally and definitely internationally. I started Mundial uh, with my friend and seasoned uh, world music programmer Derek Andrews from Toronto in 2011. And um, it was interesting because that was five years into doing M for Montreal events. So five years of running M Uh, year-round and five editions of M for Montreal, the, uh, the showcase festival. Montreal is a gathering of uh, some of the top people in the world, especially here in Canada, that are involved in world music. What we call world music, music from diverse cultures, uh, doing their business, gathering and helping the careers of artists expand, move uh, uh, throughout the Quebec region, across Canada, into the States and Europe. It's a business meeting for world music. Oh, Rihanna, you in the house? Okay, okay, just be here. You saw the note from E1 and Jay, and now certain people are starting to realize the, the little, um, you know, yeah. schedule conflict know, between Music Soup I've, and. I've set it up. Um, I've set everyone's schedules who are doing the music supervisor thing from 10 to 11, and then they can partake in the rest of the speech moves from 11 to 1:30. Well, really, my role has changed a lot in the last five, ten years. I mean, initially we were like two, three, four people doing everything and I did as much programming as production as at the beginning. Uh, but now my role is, is really uh, the macro vision of everything and how everything intertwines. Uh, that's, that's a big part of what I do now. As-tu vu ma note euh, avec la, la photo du rassemblement? On est capable de poster ça avec le petit mot que j'ai écrit? T'as-tu vu mon email? Je t'ai mis en CC avec Simon. Je l'ai envoyé à Simon parce que je ne sais pas qui, qui a les clés de mon Facebook. Là. Je laisse de rancher un moment donné aussi. Well, right now it's the uh, Département des Miracles. It's the M for Miracle uh, section of uh, the project. So we have obviously, you know, there's a lot of last-minute things in these in these types of events. Tu sais les vieux ghetto blasters à cassette là avec des des LED. Tu sais que ça fasse ouais. plus comme des trucs de son finalement. Tu vois, tu me suis tu? Ouais. Quitte ouais. à au pire inversé puis les mettre vers en haut puis mettre le l'autre. Tu sais, tu comprends okay. parce que là ouais. peut-être des waves de son par en bas ça va peut-être moins bien marcher. Je sais pas. And also, uh, there's a lot of unknown until the end how it's best to do things depending on who's going to attend, who's going to be there, who's not going to be there, who you have to acknowledge, etc. Ici, ça c'est le speech de Monique Simard. Ouais. Après ça, ici, ça va être André Picard. Okay. 
Après ça, on continue avec euh, la présentation comme prévu. Euh, L'ensemble des délégués. Comme Parce que là, dans le fond, le film, lui, est intercalé là-dedans? Ou oui, euh, oui, oui, oui. Ça. I guess this is uh, sort of a second nature for me to, to, to know about everything and nothing. And, and it's funny because as years go by, I feel like I, I'm, I, I'm losing grasp of all the little details because everybody's now taking on some roles that I used to do or, 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 or things, I guess, that I created in a way. And now I have to be the bigger picture guy. And it, it's going better now, but I got to say, it took me a couple of years to get to a place where um, I could feel good about it. It's just, of course, that it's a little notch up right now in terms of the pressure and the urgency. Every moment, it seems like this is the last opportunity to Ok, 14h24. 4h? 4h, on fait ça, ok. Radio-Canada, demain, 13h. 4h30, 5h, le monde blablabla, petit verre de mousseux. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. Ah, hmm? oh, nice. Aha! All access. Pour vrai, là, je vais-tu pouvoir vraiment aller partout, là? J'espère. Wow, so this is it. This is the, the moment where I get my badge and it says all access. It makes me feel really important. Wow, like powerful, you know what I mean? All access. <laughs> okay. All right, so what we're doing now, we're going to run a cafe campus because this year is very special. It's the first time we have uh, sponsors that uh, are all major labels. So we have Universal Canada, Warner Canada, Sony Music Canada, and the big bosses, the presidents are here. It's the first time they come to M. It's really important. Hopefully they're happy with what's going on. And some of their artists are showcasing right now at Cafe Campus. So I'm really just going to see if, how they're doing. And then I got to run, do other things. So let's hope they're happy. If they're not, I might not stay for long. So I need uh, you to help me finish writing my text for the partner's reception that is in an hour and a half. And then let me know. Uh, I'll call you back, okay? Bye. It's a little harder for certain bands to play during the day, even though it's pitch black in there. Yeah. It's just, you know, you're not in the same vibe. And of course, it's really difficult because you don't really have uh, an actual audience. You have people, but they are actually professionals. They're watching your show and they're very critical about it. And you don't really know. They don't really clap at the end of the songs. And you're like, so it's very hard for artists. But You know, you're at war and uh, you got to do what you got to do and most of them do really well and getting good feedback. Thank you. Thank you for supporting that yeah, yeah. activity. It's, it's, it's obviously one of the key ones. And, uh, yeah, no, we're happy. Everyone else, can have, can have, can have, can have, can have, can have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, good. Fun. I gotta run to get ready for the partners Don't run. reception. Walk slowly. No, no, no. It's, it's it's a marathon. Marathon. You said True. it. True. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna be there for the um, the, the the reception. Of course. Oh, okay. Yes. At five. Is yeah. Now? Yeah. I'll be there 5:30 with Is there the cup because we're yeah. awarding the cup oh, at 5:30. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I yeah. have to do. Yeah. BV's gonna do a post and everything. They're ready to wait cool. for us. Cool. Cool. All right. Have fun. Okay. Cheers. All right. It looks like uh, everybody's happy, and it seems like our sponsors are, are happy with the, the presence of the, the, the buyers, the international uh, delegates that are here for that. So now time for me to focus on the reception and make sure that the guys have finished uh, all the graphics and the PowerPoints, but we've done it before, I'm, I'm very confident. What I need to do now is go change and focus on my speech and then It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun because we're also gonna be playing a little bit of music. See, this is incredible. That is my girlfriend's scarf. 
Yes. You're not gonna believe this. I found your scarf on the street on Sherbrooke. I just wanted to make sure you're fine. You hadn't been kidnapped or mugged or anything. No? Wow, only you can do that, my love. Okay, let's get ready, rehearsal. At least it's no PowerPoint small. Okay, small, it's correct, check this out. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's check it out. Okay, great. So I do see the next slide. Yay! Yeah. Because Yay. I, I asked them to transfer it in uh, PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Because they were using PDFs. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I know you're not the, the PowerPoint hater. Okay, uh, one, two, check, eight, one, two, one, two, c'est bien correct, ça. Super, ok, bonjour, tout le monde, c'est un petit peu écho, quand même, mais bon, c'est la salle. We don't really have time to rehearse these things, we, we plan them in our head, and we change things a lot, up to the last minute and all that, so, and also, to be honest, we are very short budget, so, Ideally, for what we're trying to do, we would need a, like a video switcher, I think you call that. And uh, it's quite expensive to rent for like a 10 minute presentation. And so we're going, uh, you know, like DIY, uh, guerrilla style, and we're just finding a trick to switch from a PowerPoint to a film with a quick blackout. Oui, c'est toujours la peine. Ah oui. C'est pas un vrai blackout. Mais non, mais c'est bien mieux qu'un vrai blackout. And we just saved a thousand dollars. So okay. let's, all right, man, you rock. Is it? Yes. We're gonna have it. Okay, sorry, I couldn't pick it up. Oh, that's okay. So I found your uh, scarf laying on the street in the water. Yeah, you didn't get my message? No. C come and check it out. Come and check it out. It's pretty awesome. So I'm running with the camera crew. We're like running like crazy. And then suddenly I'm like, and I, what was that? Like, hey, oh, my man. girlfriend's scarf. Oh, man. And it's all like oh, wet and gross. No. And yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Always on the lookout for the people you love. Well, let's see. Uh, this, this time, it, this is getting serious. Like, we're talking real professional musicians, and I'm kind of an imposter, let's face it. I'm just going to wing it. But it's going to be fun. Are we doing, because there's two sections, there's three sections, but this, the, the first one is faster, the second one is well, slower. I think we should tempo. do, okay, so two sections, same tempo, okay. Yeah. And yeah, we could start with the, with the, so I mean, it's, it's, it's like I can say, uh, so say it's not a cat, so okay, one, two, three, four. This got to be the best part. It's just that little moment where I'm off of all the other problems and I'm just focusing on the music. I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We good uh, with the scenario, everything's great. Yeah, we, uh, like, we like scripts. Yeah, short. Script. Yeah, very short. Why yeah, man, you dis de se dégadiner, parce que faut que le monde ait bu un peu, sinon ça va être plat. Did you did you catch that? Sure, let's go. Hey, hey, hey! Je sais que t'as essayé d'arrêter, mais. Jacques, on est enchanté. Allez, allez, allez. Thank you. Oh, the things you have to do. Bonsoir. Mais je vous souhaite la bienvenue à cette réception conjointe des partenaires de Mondial Montréal et de M pour Montréal. Ça fait plaisir de tous vous voir ici. J'appelle maintenant Seb, mais Sébastien Nasra, président et directeur général de M pour Montréal. Um, 
1 m 90. Merci beaucoup, André. Thanks. Um, wow, it's a, it's a little emotional, to be honest. I mean, um, just started this when I got a random phone call by Monsieur Martin Elborn, que je vais vous présenter tout à l'heure. Et il m'a demandé d'organiser une, une soirée showcase, un one night stand en 2006 pour lui et quelques uns de ses amis, les acheteurs des plus gros festivals euh, de l'Europe. Et euh, voilà où on en est aujourd'hui. Donc c'est assez fantastique. Ça me permet aussi de dire merci à Martin qu'on va célébrer d'ailleurs puisque la coupe ici porte son nom. C'est la coupe Martin Elborn. Like, everything's on cue, the parade, everything, and we get to the climax, and the freaking gate is closed. <laughs> like, and then it's like, no, it, like, you didn't, you didn't take the right, there was another gate. I didn't see the gate. I'm like, I'm trying to hear the band. I'm trying to stay in the rhythm. But anyways, it was just funny, really, because actually people inside didn't even know we were coming. Recipient, le récipiendaire de la Coupe Martin, ce prix tout à fait subjectif que nous remettons annuellement à quelqu'un qui, selon nous, a soutenu de manière extrêmement constante la scène musicale montréalaise. Well, you know, the, the day has been quite long, uh, <laughs> but intense and wonderful, and so many wonderful people just. Uh, coming to celebrate with us or uh, listen to what we have to say. I, I just realized when, when I go on stage like that and I see like hundreds of eyes looking at me and looking at towards the stage and I realize the power that I guess we have uh, as artists and I say we I mean I'm not necessarily an artist myself but I guess I, I work with artists and I, I see that you know you can actually make a little difference. So uh, yeah, it's, whew, it's an emotional day. It's a big, big day. All that, you know, in the middle of this 10th anniversary and all the, I think I'll need, uh, I'll need a little bit of time to digest all that, yeah. Merci d'être là. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai mis ma cravate. Je ne m'habille pas comme ça d'habitude, mais bon, c'est de circonstances. Ma maman m'a toujours dit il faut bien s'habiller dans les grandes circonstances. It could be the end of the day if I wanted to at this point. Uh, at this point, I've done my part, my share of the job. Uh, I feel like I want to celebrate a little bit, but I got to pace myself because there's still three more days to go for me. Voici les foreign diplomates. Um, and there's a lot of great shows actually that I want to check a little bit. I think I want to disappear now and just be the audience a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's been a special day. <laughs>